Hi from Social Links and welcome to another Awesome Digest video. This is the second program in our new series where we discuss what's been going on recently in the spheres of cybersecurity and open source intelligence. This time around, we're discussing a new discipline also called OSINT, the BBC's new open source intelligence unit, how generative AI is fueling disinformation, and much more. So let's start. We all know that OSINT stands for open source intelligence. Well, now it can also mean observation of sentiments through intelligence networks. This is a discipline where different forms of AI are used to assess the emotional content of a given piece of media, such as text, image, video, or audio. The process goes way beyond recognizing a general emotional state, such as anger, happiness, fear, etc. It can actually produce an emotional map of a person, including their potential reaction to given information and scenarios. By combining media analysis with psychology, this new OSINT can bring a new level of sophistication to data forensics. Sticking with the theme of OSINT, classic OSINT I mean, our next story is about how open source intelligence is now a major force in keeping the informational space in order. The mainstream media is always telling us that we live in an age of mass disinformation, like they are on the side of truth. While that may be debatable, the BBC claims to be taking steps to crack down on fake news, deep fakes, and disinformation. And how is it doing this? Well, with a brand new OSINT department. This new unit is called Verify and comprises 60 journalists who specialize in forensic investigations and open source intelligence. It also has a number of internal teams for fact-checking, media intelligence and verification, data analysis, and of course, investigative journalism. This may seem like a natural step for a mass media outlet, and we must hope that this will be used to preserve facts rather than conceal them. But for OSINT, which until recently was still a niche discipline, this development really does show just how far we've come. OSINT is entering the mainstream and it feels like a landmark. And on top of the topic of disinformation, there is more news and speculation around where this is all heading. So unless you've been living under a rock for the last year, you've no doubt seen the buzz around ChatGPT, Midjourney, and other generative tools. While there's been a lot of debates around the potential misuse of this technology, one in particular is being discussed a lot now, and that is the use of generative AI to create convincing disinformation. A lot of disinformation campaigns are the work of well-founded PSYOP centers. These are teams of people creating social media spin on political, social, and economic issues. However, due to a lack of specialist knowledge and English fluency, 90% of this content fails to convince. But times are changing. With the help of ChatGPT and other generative models, disinformation creators don't need to have a command of foreign languages or even a cultural understanding of their audience. They only need to be good at prompting. Such models can even tailor linguistic context to suit a given population or even community. And it's not about just how generative AI can improve the quality of the disinformation, it's about the cost and speed of output it makes possible. Works that once took hours or days can now be easily achieved in a matter of minutes. According to Wired, it costs only $400 to be the toolkit that churn out fully fledged disinformation campaigns. Next up, extortion scams. Recently, we've seen the rise of a certain type of extortion scam where people are told that the explicit content of them will be published and they slip pay up. While such schemes are not new, the scale the threat they pose is the average payout for such extortion scams is $1,200, and in many cases, the blackmailers don't even have any kind of compromising material. On top of this, in 2023, we saw this incident almost double in number. A new example of this type of scheme has recently come to light, in which scammers were sending emails pretending to be a well-known adult site. The email explains that video footage of the recipient is ready to be uploaded to the site. However, this can be prevented if they pay for a security plan ranging from $200 to $1,400. So it's one to watch out for. 
And finally, here is another sign that the power of the OSINT is starting to be understood and enjoyed by the mainstream. A new film has just been released with OSINT techniques as a central premise. The film is called Missing and tells the story of a young woman who starts to investigate the disappearance of her mom. To do this, she just uses her home computer and any resources she has at hand. As the plot thickens, our protagonist's digital investigation starts to raise more questions than its answers. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you liked our content in general, subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. Bye for now. See you next time.